let's look at the next property of the gamma function gamma of n is equal to lambda to the power of m integral of 0 to infinity of minus e to the power of minus lambda t times t the power of n minus 1 dt we know by def by definition gamma of n is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx so let x is equal to lambda t so dx is equal to lambda dt when x is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 when x is equal to infinity t is equal to infinity okay so now let's do the substitution gamma n is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus lambda t times x that is lambda t to the power of n minus 1 lambda dt 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus lambda t let's split it up lambda to the power of n minus 1 t to the power of n minus 1 lambda dt 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus lambda t now lambda there is 1 here so this becomes n minus 1 plus 1 so t n minus 1 dt now here lambda n we can take it out so e to the power of minus lambda t times t to the power of n minus 1 dt yes and this is what we were trying to achieve yes lambda n integral e to the power of minus lambda t t to the power of n minus 1 okay so that is another property okay gamma n is equal to 0 to 1 of log 1 by y to the power of n minus 1 dy okay by definition we know gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx now let's do the substitution let x and what shall we substitute it with log of 1 by y okay so now let's differentiate this so dx is equal to um, log log is going to be 1 by 1 by y times now we have to differentiate 1 by y 1 by y is y to the power of minus 1 so that means minus 1 times y to the power of minus 2 dy so y times minus 1 by y square dy so that means minus dy by y or minus 1 by dy minus 1 by y dy okay so now when x equal to 0 y will be equal to 1 because log 1 is 0 and this will become 0 only when y is 1 similarly x will be infinity when y is equal to 0 so that is when y 1 by y should be infinity now if 1 by y has to be infinity y has to be 0 so y is equal to 0 okay so now there is one additional step x is equal to log of 1 by y we have taken now let's exponentiate both sides so we get e e now here on this side e and log get cancelled so e to the power of x equal to 1 by y or in other words 
y is equal to e to the power of minus x. Now let's do the necessary substitutions. Gamma n is equal to 1 to 0. 0 to infinity has become 1 to 0 of y log 1 by y to the power of n minus 1 times minus 1 by y dy. Now this minus can come out and we can actually exchange these boundaries. So instead of saying 1 to 0, we say 0 to 1 that minus will disappear. This y and this y get cancelled. So we are left with log of 1 by y to the power of n minus 1 dy which is what we had to prove and let's look at the sixth one n gamma n is equal to gamma n plus 1 is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t to the power of 1 by n dt okay so here this is okay this part is okay this we have already seen now what we have to look at is this so let's put x is equal to t to the power of 1 by n so if we differentiate it we get dx is equal to 1 by n t to the power of 1 by n minus 1 or 1 by n t to the power of 1 minus n by n and dt dt and when x equal to 0 when will x be equal to 0 when t to the power of 1 by n is 0 and when will this be 0 p is equal to 0 x is equal to infinity when will that be t goes to infinity okay we don't have to look at n at all okay let's do the substitution uh, gamma of n is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t to the power of 1 by n times t to the power of n minus 1 by n times 1 by n t to the power of 1 minus n by n dt now see here this is n minus 1 here it is 1 minus n so what we'll do is e to the power of minus t 1 by n one of them we can take minus out so let's say t n minus 1 by n times t to the power of minus n minus 1 by n dt here you have n these two cancel out plus minus becomes t to the power of 0 which is 1 okay so 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t to the power of 1 by n times 1 by n dt now this n we can take it out and take it to the other side n gamma n and we are left with 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t to the power of 1 by n dt and this is what we had to show n gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t to the power of 1 by n dt okay and we know this is equal to gamma of n plus 1 okay so that is another property so we can say n gamma n is equal to gamma n plus 1 is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t to the power of 1 by n by the way interesting uh, interestingly using this we can actually do this much faster gamma of half 
yes so let's see how this happens uh, let's in this let's put uh, n is equal to half right so half gamma half is equal to gamma 1 plus half or half plus n to be more precise half plus n 1 is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of t minus t to the power of 1 by half dt so half gamma half is equal to gamma 3 by 2 is equal to 0 to infinity of e to the power of minus t square dt and this we know to be equal to square root of pi by 2 or since we have half of gamma 1 by 2 we can say gamma 1 by 2 is equal to pi by 2 times 2 so 2 2 gets cancelled and root pi okay so those are some of the properties of the gamma function these will be very very useful when we are solving a lot of other integral problems enough for today bye for